While local efforts have made changes in small pockets of the world, nothing will change globally until the international community acknowledges that patients in pain are getting caught in the crossfire of the war on drugs. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, or UNODC, leads the global effort to curtail narcotics trafficking. The report we launched today paints a sobering picture of the threat posed by illegal drugs. This blunt axe that is just, you know, looking at preventing misuse, preventing misuse, preventing misuse. A and what you see is that, you know, now we have collateral damage from that war on drugs, um, which is millions of, of patients in pain who can't get access to the medications that they need. We put that very point to the executive director of the UNODC at their annual meeting. It seems like one of the side effects of the efforts to curtail illicit narcotics actually also curtail legal medical narcotics. Unfortunately, you're right. In some parts, especially in developing countries, uh, uh, there is not enough access to this kind of uh, illicit medicines. We're looking in favor to encourage government to allow patients to get legitimate access to these substances, of course, under strict medical uh, control. This may be a good first step. Since until recently, the UN hasn't publicly acknowledged the problem. But patients will continue to suffer until these global bodies actively work with countries to exclude medical morphine from the war on drugs. That simply hasn't happened.